So I turned my phone on, do not disturb. I also didn't tell anyone that I'm here, so no one knows where I am. Hello beautiful people, it is Jada Jo. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today is a super exciting day because I'm going on a road trip by myself. I'm gonna drive to Sedona, Arizona, which is approximately two hours from my house. It's not that far at all. I'm gonna spend the day hiking and walking around the shops and just having fun. I packed a lot of food so I wouldn't have to buy any food there. I worked extra hours last week to save up some extra spending money for today. I'm gonna get a psychic reading, which I'm so excited about, and just spend the day in nature and hanging out with myself and not worrying about anything. It's approximately 6 30 in the morning right now and so I'll get there at around 8 30 and we will see what the day consists of let's go okay we're like 45 minutes and I'm stopping to get gas now just because I know there's gonna be a long streak of road on the highway that I'm not gonna be able to pull over and get gas and so I'm just really worried I'm gonna run out during that time because that would happen to me so I'm being responsible and getting gas before that happens okay I'm at another gas station because I really had to go to the bathroom and also I'm gonna eat a little snack because it's too dangerous to eat while I'm driving on these windy turny roads so I'm taking a little snack break um, I'm looking up hikes right now to decide which one I want to go on first. I'm so excited. I took a wrong exit somewhere along the way, which I have no idea how that happened because I swear I followed the directions, but then it said rerouting and I was like, oh, right. I think it added like 10 or 15 minutes, something like that, which is annoying, obviously, but at the same time, what the heck? This banana is so good. This is the best banana I've ever eaten. Why is it so good? Did you know, fun fact, bananas are perfectly split into three. Like you can split them into perfect three if you just squeeze them. That's my little fun fact of the day. Whenever I bite into the banana, I push into it with my tongue and then it splits into three. I don't know, it's like a fun little game that I do with myself. Anyway, I'll see you when we get there. I've been driving around for like 30 minutes now trying to get parking at this one hiking spot and I thought I almost found this little dirt road thing that I could park on but then this guy comes up to these other people that are parked there and he's like you shouldn't park there you're gonna get towed so now I'm approximately like three miles away from the hike and I'm going to run there and then hike the mountain and then probably walk back I really have to pee so this is not gonna be a fun run but it's the only way to get parking and I mean I'm not in any rush I have literally all day to go on this hike and so I'm just gonna enjoy it you know I got a parking spot that I'm not gonna get towed at so I don't have to worry about that anymore but I just got to get to the hike so let's go on a run I guess I lied it was not three miles it was like a little over a mile but I ran with my weighted vest on for the first time ever my first ever weighted run not easy but Again, it was only a mile, so I made it to the hike. Yay, here we go. So it's been a little over an hour. It turns out that I accidentally went off of the trail that I originally was on and went into a different trail, which I didn't even realize because there's not many signs once you get past a certain part. So I guess I'm on another trail now. But I'm going to go to the parking lot of this trail and then go back up and around to the parking lot that I parked at. And if you've watched some of my recent videos, you know that I'm really working on being okay with being alone without any stimulus. Sorry, I keep moving this hair because it looks like a little rat's tail at my neck. But I've been working on being alone without stimulus, without music, without watching YouTube, whatever it is. So I've been hiking for the past probably like 45 minutes without any music or anything. And I'm not going to lie, it's not super easy for me. That's why I'm working on it. It's hard for me to be alone with my thoughts, but it's super necessary. And I love just listening to the trees and the wind and the birds and stuff like that. So pretty outside. And I'm having a great time. Is that not so pretty? Oh my gosh. 
I'm so glad I came here. I just got back from my hike run thingy. I ran back with my weighted vest and I think that my mile time was like 10 minutes and 30 seconds because I was going so slow. It was uphill and I had a weighted vest on. Also, we need to talk because this water bottle on the bottom of it says that it's 48 ounces, but this water bottle is 48 ounces and this one's bigger than this one. And I've been using this one to try to get to a gallon every day. And now I'm realizing that it might be wrong and I might not have been drinking a gallon this whole time. <laughs> So which one is lying? Look how messy my car is right now. Do you guys see that? A mess, a mess. That's why I'm the mom of every friend group because I make sure that I bring everything and more. The one thing I didn't bring though that I actually contemplated bringing this morning and I wish I would have chosen to bring it but I didn't because I don't know why I didn't. I wish I brought face wash because now I'm gonna be sweaty all day. And my skin lady always says that right after you work out you need to wash your face right after and now it's gonna be like eight hours later that is not good at all i'm definitely gonna get some pimples <laughs> that's okay though it was worth it um let's go find a really pretty place in the park and eat lunch also i'm chafing at approximately ah! <laughs> oh my gosh what is happening I'm chafing in approximately 17 places around my body. I still have not found the perfect workout attire that doesn't make me chafe. Everything that I wear makes me chafe. I'll figure it out one day. Let me show you my mukbang. Oh, it's gonna spill. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. We've got some roasted broccoli, chopped cucumbers, avocado, and balsamic vinegar. So simple, so delicious. This is the best day. Honestly, I need to do this more often. I mean, I've been halfway done. It's only 11.30. This is so much fun. And this is really good. Every time I've come to Sedona thus far, other than this time, obviously, it's been with other people. And every time it's been so much fun. I've always had fun in Sedona. But I was wondering if once I got here, I would be like, oh, I wish I could, you know, be with friends or whatever. Honestly, I'm so good alone. And I have the best time by myself. And I just love not being able to worry about anything because I am very much a people pleaser. Even when I'm around people I'm really close to and comfortable with, I still feel like I have to be on. And so I like to just not have to feel like that at all and just be me with me, do whatever I want. I don't know, this is so much fun. There's food in my teeth for actually the entire rest of this video. And I never realized it. Thank goodness I wore my mask everywhere because I never had to show anyone my teeth. But you guys get to see it, so enjoy. Okay, I just booked a psychic reading. It's in approximately three hours, so I'm gonna go look at little shops and just like walk around until then. But I just looked at the weather forecast, look! It's gonna rain! That's okay, uh, hopefully I'll be, you know, inside of the stores when it's raining a lot. Good thing it wasn't raining for my hike, that's all that really matters, but yay! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> let's go, let's go walk around. I'm just having the best time of my life, like. This is great, this is really great, let's go. It's 3.45 right now. My psychic appointment is at 4.45. I'm taking a little break in my car because my feet are a little tired from walking so much. <laughs> so I'm just taking a little break. I really need water. That's really why I came back to my car. Look at this ring that I bought. This is the only other thing that I'm buying today. It's so pretty. They have the prettiest jewelry here, but I'll pick it up and be like, I'm in love with this. And then I'll turn it around and the price tag will say $800 million. And then I'll say no, 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 no. No wonder when I walk in, people that work there always look at me like, are you sure about that? And I'm always like, what? It's jewelry. And then I pick it up. I'm like, ah, that's why. I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels like there's a completely different energy here. And that's why I love coming here. I don't actually need to do anything to feel filled up after I come here. It's just the energy here makes me feel filled up. I just feel very peaceful here. Let me show you the view from even just the parking lot. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. This is how much ahead I thought. I brought my whole ass computer 
because I knew that my phone would die and my car does not have anywhere that I can plug my phone into. So I brought my whole computer so that I could charge my phone in my computer because your girl's got to make it home. And can I make it home from Sedona without a maps app? Absolutely not. I can't even make it to my closest grocery store without a maps app. Just kidding. That was a little exaggerated, but not that much. I'm really bad with directions. Okay, I'm just gonna let my phone charge for like 15 minutes, gonna do a little journaling, and then Psychic Beauty! I'm so excited! You're kidding! That was incredible! She made me cry multiple times. Let me just explain a little bit this whole psychic reading thing because you might be like, what the heck? Why are you so into the psychic thing? Basically, over the past six months, I've been on this a spiritual journey. You can call it a spiritual awakening, whatever you want to say. I don't like saying that I had a spiritual awakening because I feel like it's every single day. Every single day I'm being awakened. But this past six months has just been crazy for me. I cannot take myself seriously. This whole clip, I cannot do it. Just watching it, I go like this because I... And I don't have a lot of people in my life, if any, that are spiritual outside of religious spirituality, if that makes sense. And that's kind of the way that I've been growing. I don't want to say anything about my religion or anything. I'm not saying that I'm not into religion. I'm not saying anything yet. This is all just me learning and growing and finding what works for me. I think we all need to do that. But basically, I just wanted someone else that was on this journey. Obviously, the woman that did my reading is much more further along in her spiritual journey. But she gave me some guidance on where to go from here and how to continue to evolve. But also, she confirmed the feeling feelings that I've been feeling recently. I've been feeling these super deep intuitions that I can't explain to anyone because they don't rationally make sense at all, but it's just this very, very deep feeling that I feel so strongly and so nothing I can say to try to explain it is going to make sense because it doesn't make sense. It's just these intuition. I don't like talking about it with anyone because again, I don't need anyone's opinion on the feelings that I've been feeling about the decisions that I'm making, but she sensed all of the things that I've been feeling recently and just basically said that I see you and I'm right there with you and what you're feeling is is real and I think that I just needed someone to confirm that because again I don't have anyone to talk to about this stuff and I just needed someone to be like hey you're not crazy this is real I see you and that's exactly what she did and then she did a card reading for me which was so insane and we talked about all of the stuff that I've been wanting to talk about with people but to have no one to talk about it with. That was amazing. That alone made this whole day worth it. Oh my gosh, that was everything I wanted and more. Also, she said that when she came out of the little room to find her next person that she was doing a reading for, she said that she could just sense that it was me. Like she didn't even have to ask if it was me. She just knew it was me because she felt my energy, which is just so crazy to me. Energy is so real. I'm in such a good mood now. I'm excited for this drive home, listening to music, bopping out, and just reflecting over everything that just happened. That was insane! That was so much fun! Ah! I needed to yell. Sorry. Okay, let's drive home. Twas a good day. I made it home! Currently, approximately 8 p.m. I just showered up, put ointment on my freaking chafing rashes because <laughs> that's how bad it got. There's water all over my shirt. I just spilled while I was washing my face. The drive was low key dangerous at parts because it was raining. It wasn't raining that hard though, but when I tried to use my windshield wipers, it made it worse and not better. Luckily it didn't get too bad that I had to pull over. It rained for like three minutes at a time and it wasn't even raining that hard. But I couldn't even use my windshield wiper. Thank goodness I was driving so fast because it's that highway that has a high speed limit. And so the rain was just kind of like going up because I was driving so fast, you know what I mean? But I'm showered up, I'm all clean finally, and now I'm gonna eat some dinner. I'm really hungry and just chill for the rest of the night. It was a really, really fun day. This is your sign to either go on a spontaneous road trip by yourself or just spend a day without your phone, just like being happy and free and no obligation to anyone. Okay, let's all do that sometimes. I need to do this more often. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.